Thank you. I'm here with Nicole, and behind us is the African diorama at Cabela's in Reno, or West Reno, technically Verdi. And what we're talking about here is your outdoor fund and how it's sort of raised here locally. Talk about the Roundup program here at Cabela's. So essentially here at Cabela's, any time a customer comes through our cash, regi cash registers, um, they're asked if they want to round up. That Roundup money goes toward our outdoor fund. Um, what we do with that, essentially, based on the dollar amount that's rounded up, we get a huge percentage of that back here in our local store to contribute out to local organizations that are involved in the outdoors. Um, in previous years, some of the groups that we've selected, uh, we've gone with Mason T. Ortiz Foundation. Uh, what he's, it's an amazing organization, and what they do is they hold a camp for underprivileged youth. Essentially, the less exposure to the outdoors, the more likely they are to get into this program. Okay. Um, and when they go there, they get to shoot 22 rifles. They'll shoot bow and arrows. Yeah, they Dutch oven cook, they camp out the entire time. And so they're learning all of these things in the outdoors that they wouldn't otherwise have an opportunity to wow. do. Okay. Um, essentially, it plants the seed. It gets right. these kids involved. It gets them developing a passion for something that they might otherwise not get to do. Um, and again, it, it starts that, it, it's the start of their future. Right. If we can get them involved and we can get them excited about the outdoors, then be, they become lifetime outdoorsmen. Another great program that that funds is the wheelchair program. Talk about that a little bit. So the Nevada Outdoorsmen in Wheelchairs, um, it's a group, what they do is um, essentially, they, with the funding that we can pro help provide them, they get tags donated to them from various either corporate uh, organizations or sometimes some of the big ranchers out in the country. Um, and so they get those tags donated and we're, they're able to select people who have no long, who no longer have the ability to hunt. Right. So they may be wheelchair bound, they may have MS or Parkinson's, but we're able to take them and get them in the, the, into the outdoors and they can hunt again for the first time after whatever, you know, whether it's an injury mm -hmm. or an illness that prevented them from right. being able to continue to have that lifestyle. Talk about how this showcase is unique to you guys here in Verdi at Cabela's. Uh, so the African diorama is unique to us. Uh, we're the only store in Cabela's that has an African diorama and that's because we have uh, Northern Nevada Safari Club or the Safari Club International, they're hosted here out of Reno. And so this is a tribute to what they do in, for the outdoors. And over at the Conservancy Mountain, you've uh, got some Lahontan cutthroat trout out there as well. You're like right. one of the only ones that house them? Yeah, right now we're the only people that have uh, Lahontan cutthroat trout here in captivity. Um, a great organization, they donated them to us so that we could have them and feature them because it's one of our local fish here that we can show everybody and that people get a first hands experience on seeing in our pond at Conservation Mountain. It is so cool here in Cabela's in Verdi, basically West Reno, right off of the 80. You can come here, do all of your holiday shopping, let the kids run around and see these showcases. They will be in awe, you know, and you can sort of let them get lost and, and sort of find themselves and what they get into. And you can find out all of their events, their programming, and about Santa's Wonderland at cabelas.com slash Reno. Back to you in the studio.